All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the peace and Shalom to the elect. This is Ashan coming at you with another video. And um, I was looking at the uh, Master P uh, No Limit Chronicles. And um, it's uh, very interesting how our people, you know, uh, they they don't get it, but we get it, you know. And all the brothers that had his truth, you know, you hey, you should be grateful and thankful that you can even understand that, uh, you know, the position that we in, you know, in the situation that we in, because. And I'm going to say this, a lot of these stars know, but in, like like I said in my other video, they they just don't want to accept it, accept the truth. And a lot of them, is, is, Jake just need a reality check, you know. But Master P, he can't, well, I'm going I'm to just play a little bit of the clip. As you can see, there's always those Am Amalekites, those Jews, so-called Jews, because we're the real Jews. The so-called Negro is the real Jew, all right, from the tribe of Judah. And the, uh, the uh, rest of the tribes are from the various tribes. You got Benjamin, Levi, you know, Jamaican, uh, Haitian. That's Benjamin and Levi. You got the other ten, um, ten tribes, which they say the lost ten tribes. And they say they, the lost ten tribes, you know. I'm not going to go deep because that's a whole other topic. But it's because that's the northern tribe. The northern tribe, you know. That tells you right there that they know they knew uh, the other three tribes. They knew who, who uh, the Negro was the other tribes. But the lost tribes, you know. The northern tribe, you got the so-called Puerto Rican, starting with Ephraim, all the way down to um, Issachar, which is the Mexican. You got Native Americans, so-called, all right, because those are by words, you know. But I'm going to go to Deuteronomy, I'm going to go, and it all goes back to the curses, you know. Master P is up under the curses, even though he had, a, you know, somewhat of a successful, successful career, those Jews, those Amalekites, those Edomites, they, those are the ones that could just snatch it right from you. Because the Heavenly Father gave us. See, Master P, you you supposed to be at the top because you're an Israelite, man. And I'm sure you should know that by now. But if not, hey, you're an Israelite. You know, but a lot of you guys sold out too. You sold out to the left-hand side. You know, and there's no returning, you know, to a, to a certain extent, you know. A lot of you guys sold out. And you can't understand why you're in this position. This, this man is a reason rappers were able to make millions. If there wasn't Master P, a lot of the rappers you see now wouldn't be here. Y'all know who it is, Master P. At one point, Russell Simmons, Suge Knight, Jermaine Dupree. Jay-Z, they all was looking up like, he like, what the hell who you were? Sorry. My life was damn near lost, and then that's when Master P stepped in. Master P taught us the right way. It wasn't just about me, it's about we. One of the great dynasties in hip-hop. 
No limit records. That's Master P's legacy. Now, this is the part I wanted to see because <laughs> it's amazing because um, don't you think that these Edomites, I'm going to just say the elite, the international banking family, don't you think they could come in there? See, us, uh, we Israelites, we have a, a compassionate heart, you know, and when a, a lot of us get out the ghetto, the so-called hood, we want to come back and 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 uh, rescue the hood and, and and end poverty. Well, I'm gonna tell you this: the elites can end poverty in one day. You know. Let's play this little clip. To understand me, you're looking at a city, New Orleans, and um. All right, let's just. I think you have to understand where I came from. This is New Orleans. This is where my story started. There's no other place like this. The greatest music. Yeah. The greatest food. All these nice houses. Nothing but riches and wealth. But you walk over those steps. Back in the Cali, your prices. You see nothing but poverty. I grew up in the Cali. Yep. Your projects. This is what my Cali. And uh, so called uh, Esau could 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 end that uh immediately, but they won't because they the devil, you know, because everything is is everything is set up, you know. This place is set up for you to uh, fail, you know. And let's go to the scripture because that's the only clip I wanted to play. Character was built when I was here. On a part where uh, he was talking about the hood, you know. Let's go to the scriptures. Salaki, brother. Oh yeah, here we go. Give me one second. And I wanted to go uh, to Deuteronomy because these script scriptures come to life. Deuteronomy, uh, the 28th chapter. And um, let's start at 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice thy Lord, the Lord thy God, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments, his, his statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And then you got the list, your list of uh, curses that the Israelites uh, went through, you know, and are still going through. And um, that curse of poverty uh, over here in America, that's, um, it's all, it's all within these uh, verses, but I'm going to just start at verse 23 it says and thy heavens that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is under thee shall be iron and don't that sound harsh like uh that's hard as shit you know like it's it's, it's that's cold you know like brass brass is is, is like a, a a metal you know and iron is like a metal you know so it's like they they too hard uh places you know it's no comfort in other words it's no comfort um go down and i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh read specifics specific uh scriptures but in your spare time um you know those who watch the videos you know the brothers and sisters y'all can read uh when you get a chance read the whole verse all right let's go to uh 28 it says, and the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And a lot of us, you know, a lot of us, that's a lot of us. When we get a little bit of money, 
it's like something within us that, that it's like a sorry feeling, you know? And that's, that's good. That goes back. The Lord is putting that on you, you know? It's like you almost feel, and if you get, like, if you, you might in this, in this, in this kingdom of Esau, you might feel sorry for the other individual, you know? But you can't go back to the hood because the Lord, ultimately, the Lord set it up like that. But Esau got his, his trickery, you know, to where as though I know a lot of rappers like Master P, they want to go back and fix the, uh, the problem within the hood. But you can't fix it. You know why? Because the Heavenly Father is behind it. And then, ultimately, the Heavenly, Heavenly Father is behind it. But Esau is behind the same people that's paying you, right? From that record company, they're, they're other family members, you know, they the ones that's uh, creating a problem. <laughs> you know, it's like, a, it's like a, a circle. It's a game. They got you in a game, you know. Um, let's go down to 33. I'm just getting specific uh, scriptures. It says, the fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not. Eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. So, uh, yeah, Esau is es a, a nation that don't give two shits about you. It's going to only a, a, a oppress you and crush you up till you've been destroyed. Uh, let's go to 36. It says the Lord, the Lord. Listen up. It says the Lord. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou set over thee. Talking about King David, you know, all the kings, you know, the northern tribe kings. Uh, everybody, everything is reincarnated. So everybody's back, you know. But King David went into slavery too. All the kings of, uh, all the northern tribe kings and the southern tribe kings, all of them went into slavery. It says, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou set over thee. Um, talking mainly um, specifically about David. Unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Talking about the Edomites. Esau, the so-called white man, white people. If you, if you ain't got a clue by now. And then I know a lot of people um, like uh, Tommy Sotomayor, he think it's a difference. Between when you say a Jew, uh, the Jewish people and white people, they, they, they all the same. They all the same. They all Edomites. All right. There's no difference, you know, and that and that and what and they call themselves Jewish. That's your that's your own nationality that they stole. You know, that's they ain't nothing but white people claiming to be Jewish. All right. There's no difference when you say a white when we say the white man and when we say uh, Jewish Jewish, because they wish they was a Jew. So Jewish people and white people, they all the same. They just white people claim to be Jewish. That's all. There's no, they all Edomites. If you ain't, if you ain't got a clue. It says unto a nation, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods. And yes, they do serve other gods. They say, hey, you got our own individual that, that they worship the white man. It says wood and stone. Everybody, you got a lot of Jake that's Muslims. Let's go down to 43. And look, hey, these rappers and all that, y'all ain't going to fix the problem of poverty. The heavenly, the heavenly father going to send his son back. And I'm going to get to that in the um, scriptures coming up. But let's just start it. Uh, read 43 it says Deuteronomy 28 and 43 the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high so all you Negroes talking about uh, oh why we can't never make uh, we always gotta beg the white man for the money and go to the white man and well it's in the scriptures it's in the scriptures it says the stranger that is within thee shall get above up above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low listen up 
Listen up. It says, he shall lend to thee and, th and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. So that's why we are at the bottom. You know, that's what it's in the scriptures. A lot of you Negroes, I went on FS Avengers and it's uh, Jake talking about, I said, hey, that's why we at the bottom. And this Jake is in denial. He talking about, oh, well, you could be at the bottom because I'm my own person. See, that's why that's why you Jake's in the predicament you in because you, you need a reality check. You need a goddamn reality check. You know, here it is. You at the you going to work every day. But uh, one of the families of these Edomite families is sitting, 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 sitting home. He probably own own your company, you know, sitting on his ass, eating, uh, sipping on uh, lattes and lemonade and eating the finest food while you on the bus stop going to work every day. But you ain't at the bottom. <laughs> Give me a break. Um, that's all I wanted for uh, Deuteronomy's. And it's a more curse. Hey, these curses go deep, man. These curses, hey, this it's like a uh, a sword. Just it's just, hey, our people destroyed. But let's get some more script. Let's go to the scriptures. Let's get Psalms. Psalms 49 and 11. And this is talking about the wicked be, because Esau could ser, uh If Esau wanted to, the Rothschilds was worth trillions of dollars, right? They could take, you could, you could solve the, uh, you could solve the po poverty around the world if you want, if they wanted to. But they ain't because the Lord created them to be the wicked. This is Psalms 49 and 11. It reads, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Now, let's sit back for a minute and think. Who, who the hell call, what, what race of people call their, all these lands, these modern day lands today? You know, Africa, America. What, what nation of people call uh, is all these uh, lands named after? They ain't named after no Negroes. A Negro might get a street named after. And it, hey, if it ain't uh, close to Martin Luther King Boulevard, then I don't know what, what the hell he, 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 you know. But that's the furthest a Negro going, a Negro, so-called Negro, going to get in this, uh, in this day and time. Until the Lord come back, then we're going to be ruling the world. But for right now, why Esau, the so-called white man, all these net lands are named after white people. Even Africa. For you pro-black uh, niggas. Africa is named after Leo Scipio Africanus. <laughs> you know, you people that call yourself African American. America is Amerigo uh, Vasbushi. Vasbushi. You know? All And then... And then let's, hey, let's not go to the states and the cities and the counties. Let's not even go that deep. All these counties, these cities, and these states, and these countries are named after white people. So this verse is clearly talking about the so-called white man. Let's get a Malachi. Malachi. Chapter one. And let's go to four. It says, We're all, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. See, Esau came back and this Esau coming back into power. I know a lot of people say, be saying, oh, why? Uh, if the white people were so bad, then they, 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 they ruling over you or they, they must. They ain't, they ain't too. They not too uh, bad off because. They uh, they was able to uh, get smarter than you and take you down. Well, it's because of the Lord. A lot of you Negroes don't want to give the Lord the credit. You don't give the credit to the white man. 
the Lord, the Lord, the one that allowed him to do it. I'm going to go even further to say the Lord, the one that did it. It says, thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. That's, that's the Lord destroying America. So the Lord going to destroy this place, Master P, you know. I know you like to talk about general wealth, generational wealth, but we're going to get that in the kingdom, you know. You, you got to come back to your heritage. You're an Israelite. But I know you probably, a lot of you guys sold out. So, you know, it, say, it says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And A, the so-called white man is known, everybody call him the devil around the world. Not only the, not only, we ain't the only people that call him the devil. You got, you got uh, Ishmaelites and Arabs and all these other people know that the white man is the devil. It says the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So the Lord don't like them. The Lord don't uh, really, the Lord created them to be the wicked, you know. And I don't, and can none of you Negroes save the white man. As much as you love him, you know, we know you love him. But you can't, you ain't, ain't going to be able to save him. And if you do try to save him, you're going to go right down with him. That's why it's funny to listen to some of you guys on YouTube talk about, oh, the white man ain't so bad. He ain't my enemy. Or the white, I can't, that's why I can't wait till the white man come down on you Negroes to show you who he really is. The main ones talking shit, always talking about, oh, the so-called Negroes are so bad. Yes, because we, we've been destroyed. You take a race of people and put them in a slavery for 400 years and then destroy them. Of course, they're going to act a fool. You, you even you even more crazier to think they ain't. You know, here it is Jake talking shit about his own people. And then thinking. Here it is, you destroyed, but you think we supposed to have, the uh, the majority of the people supposed to have a standard. These people are fucked up. Um, let's get Matthew, and I'm going to get Matthews, because I ain't, you know, we're going too long. Let's get Matthews 24, the famous 24 chapter. And let's start at 35. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So the Lord's words are, are, are more concrete and more stable than this earth. So and then guess what? We the Lord's mouthpiece. So we speaking what the Lord's speaking. You know, the Lord allowed us and used us, you know, all praises. He used us to tell you, tell you guys, you know, that's a blessing within itself. You know, and it's not all these all these so-called Negroes think that we making this up. This coming from the scriptures straight out. Of, you see me reading the scriptures. It's not coming from us. It says, but of that day and hour, no, if no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So the angels don't even know when the Lord is going to come back. You know, it says, but as the days of Noah were. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, he's going to come in. It says, for, at, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So you people going to be caught left out there thinking America going to flourish forever. We telling you on the highways and byways every week that this place is going down. But you don't want to repent. Um. Read on. It says, and knew if not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. It says, then, then shall two be in a field and one shall be taken and the other left. It says, two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. So we don't know what hour he coming. But the what we we the watchmen, so that's why you sh you people sh you know if you don't know about the truth, you should watch these videos and keep a lookout. It says, but know this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered 
his house to be broken up. It says, therefore, be ye also ready for in such as an hour as ye think not the son of man come. So basically, this is saying that um, we don't know when the Lord come, but let's be prepared. Let's at least when he come back, be, be blameless. You know, the men of the Lord can say, hey, look, Lord, we waited on you. We did everything you said, told us to do um, through meekness. We, we did um, as much as possible, you know, to to our uh, to our ability. We did the best of our ability to do what you said, Lord. And then, hey, the Lord will look at you like, yeah, that's a real dude. That's he he had faith. And you might and you'll be the one that's taken and the other is left, which is two thirds of Israel. So I hope this was edifying till again. This is a Sean coming at you um, through the Baltimore branch of GMS. And you brothers uh, stay tuned and, and, and keep it pushing. Till again, Shalom.